Hello traders, how are you doing? This is Dan and this is Dan Tech Channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the pips, how to calculate the point, how you're going to calculate the profit that you're just going to make or the loss that you're just going to make before even you just enter trend. Before, Because you have to know all that. Before you enter a trend, you actually you just know how much you're going to make how much you're going to lose for example you can just calculate from distance from right over here to here and just know if this if the market just make such a move how much you're just going to make up subscribe to this channel if this is your first time to be over here and uh, like this video a lot more will just be coming of the same as we just learn how to train on these now you can see these some decimals that you can see over here i'm in the bucket i'm the pair of the euro usd of course this is a trending view and you can see euro usd noted in three digit for each and you can see the price of one euro is going at 0.98293 dollars so this price has just dropped now let's just learn how to calculate the pips and uh, it's just going to be very easy right over here and uh, uh, you can see what we have we have something that we call euro we have euro usd and this is what we call pair so this becomes the base currency this is the base currency this is the quote currency and we call all these this one is a pair now how do you really calculate on this when you just call this a pair it's just very easy because you see something like this and you see the price written 0 0.98 uh, to 0 maybe 1 and that way and so you see this decimal switch so as five decimal places and that is euro usd <coughs> sorry and now you can see for you to buy one euro for you to buy one euro you need 0 0.9821 and you have to note that uh, for every one base currency the price is always one okay so that means you need 0 0.9821 to buy one euro that means what that means the price of euro the price of dollar is high and you need less dollars to buy uh, euros now with that saying let's just now learn how to really calculate these calculations as now we have said we have euro usd euro usd again and we have this price 0 0.98201 and to calculate the pips actually is just very easy and why do you have to calculate pips or whatever in this way this how i teach people and just becomes very easy now to calculate profit or loss if you're using the margin of one to four thousand um yeah one to four thousand for those who are using fx pesa the link is down one below you just use the given uh margin uh that is leverage if you just use the given leverage uh, you see that um this is how you calculate the profit if you just want to calculate profit or loss it's just given by points you have to write this so that you can be remembering or you can repeat in the video times lot size so this is how you actually you just calculate it okay how you can just calculate your profit or loss now let's just learn how to calculate 0 0.98.201 so actually this just becomes so we are we need we need this we need to calculate point first and how to get the pips actually you can calculate by points times 0 0.1 here you get pips it's very easy now this becomes one tens a death thousand and ten thousand but when it comes to pips this becomes 0 0.1 this becomes one tens hundred and thousands so that's why we multiply times 0 0.1 over here to get pips but let's say the price moves uh let's calculate the movement 0 0.98 201 and then the price moved to 0 0.98301 so you can even subtract from the highest level to the highest value minus the smallest value this is the easiest way to calculate and you see one minus one zero zero one so these are 100 points 
you don't calculate the rest of the decimal because this is zero this is zero this is point zero zero so we don't have like you cannot say zero point zero zero one hundred so you just have this value and that is what it just gives us point so for example if you used a lot size of zero point one how much is your profit that is zero point one zero point zero one times one hundred and this will be one dollar profit or loss if it just depends on how you whether you bought or you are selling that just becomes very easy and uh, you have 100 points you see some people talking about if this is 100 points uh sorry if this is if this is 100 points if this is 100 point that means we have how many pips 100 times 0 0.1 which is 10 pips so you can see if you have point point are the ones that will help you to calculate profit or loss very easy just calculate this movement from 0 0.98311 to uh, 0 0.98 uh, 322 yeah just try to calculate that and you'll see the answer will just be how many calculate point and uh, calculate just calculate point if you calculate the point you see the movement subtract this from this and you see it will become 11 11 point 1 point 1 pips and if you use the allot size of 0 point 0 0.1 the profit will be how much 0 0.11 yes so it is one 11 times 0 0.11 the profit will be if you used a uh, so this is pips but we have 11 points so if you used a lot size of 0 0.1 and we have 11 point times so here we have 1.1 blah 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 profit or loss so it's just like that you can try with a different value if you have any question leave it in the comment section i'll be coming with another class to calculate the pips and how um whatever all that profit or loss so this is just an introduction of that come just leave the comment section and don't forget to uh that is use fx person down see you next time goodbye